Good Saturday, everyone. I hope your weekend's going well, and I hope if you have outdoor plans that they're indoors just in case. We'll talk about that more in just a moment. Looking at our daily weather map for today, we see lots of showers and thunderstorms across the eastern half of the U.S. Lots of frontal boundaries kind of draped around and some disturbances kind of attached to those frontal boundaries. And if you're going to get rain in August, this is usually how you get it. Just these lazy frontal boundaries. Heat of the afternoon kind of kicks in, kind of sparks off all the showers and storms. And so you get some you get some pretty good downpours and some gusty winds and cloud to ground lightning. Definitely be careful around that lightning. If you're close enough to hear it thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. We see a flash flood risk stretching across southern Arizona into New Mexico and the panhandle of Texas. You'll also notice in the Gulf of Mexico, we have an area of low pressure in the western Gulf. That could become Danielle at some point today before it makes landfall this evening on the Mexico-Texas coastline. Some of those areas received rainfall from another tropical disturbance about a week ago. So they, they're getting plenty of rain on that southern tip of Texas and right along the Texas-Mexico border. So we'll be tracking that system as we go through the day. Look at our five-day outlook. Today and tomorrow are looking wet. We had looked a little bit drier for today, but I'm, I'm really thinking we're going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms all across the plateau before the day is done. And that chance will stay with us through tonight and then tomorrow kick it up to 80 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms and some of those storms could be strong to severe on sunday i'll have to keep a close eye on that for you and then more showers and thunderstorms sunday night tapering off on monday and then we just have the isolated kind of the heat of the afternoon um, shower and thunderstorm chances for Tuesday and Wednesday, but that's when we get more into Tuesday and Wednesday, that's more the kind of stuff where you can keep your outdoor plans, just keep an eye on the radar type stuff. Uh, this weekend, if you have outdoor plans, just definitely have an indoor backup plan just in case. I'm checking out our severe weather concern for Sunday. Low concern for flooding, a little bit of a low concern for straight line winds, but there's also a low concern for a tornado. We have a lot of wind shear in place, which is a little unusual for this time of the year, but we've been getting a lot more rain than we normally get this time of the year, too. So um, everything all kind of coupled together. There is still a, a low risk for, for a spin up, a quick spin up tornado, but straight line winds will probably be a little bit higher threat than that, of course. But I'll keep an eye on things for you. This, you know, if we get a lot of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, they'll stabilize the atmosphere quite a bit and help us out. So um, I'll keep an eye on that. I'll give you another update later this evening to keep you posted on how things are going with the severe weather concern for Sunday. But just know right now it's a low risk, but it's certainly not zero. So, but you folks have a wonderful day and keep looking up. For even more weather information, just keep reading along that blog, meteorologistmark.com.